Hey guys, welcome back to the SnowRunner, and we're going to take a look at some mods today. And there's actually five mods that I want to take a look at, and I'm going to split it between two videos. So we're going to show three mods in this video, and then I'm going to do another video, and we're going to show the other two. And actually, we're looking at two of the mods right here. So the first one is this cool truck that we're sitting in, and the second one is actually this map that we're on. Now... This isn't a new map, but I'm just checking it out now. This is like a uh, a test map. Um, I don't think it's as good as the test map that we have in the base game. Just because, uh, well, I don't know. The, the, the mud and things like that aren't as extreme to, to really get a good feel of it. But nonetheless, I want to try something different. And there is something in this one that's, uh, that's pretty fun. So again... First thing we're going to do is we're going to look at this mod here. And this is the trail rod. Simple enough, right? Um, so what to say about it? Uh, the outside of it looks pretty good, actually. I like the outside of it. And again, interior, uh, the, the modder just, you know, decided they didn't really care about the interior much. And as I've said in the past, um, that's kind of the way it's going. But it is what it is. And as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, the suspension is red. We'll talk about that in a second, guys. So there we go. We started up. And the one thing I really like about this mod that I got a kick out of is the horn. So uh, let's, let's take a listen to the horn. <laughs> I love that. I mean... I, I'm surprised that they can put that in the game. I'm surprised that that's not violating some kind of trademark or something, but the fact that the horn is the Roadrunner, that is fantastic. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's take this truck out. I see some things it can do. Now, I am going to bring this to the other vanilla base game test map as well so we can see what this does to the really heavy mud, but there's kind of a, uh, a cool course that I want to check out back here. Just to do something a little fun for a change, something that we don't normally do. So on this map, they have these things here where you can pull the trailers up a hill and pull the, uh, the train engine. FYI, this cannot pull a train engine I've uh I tried it and it, it didn't work and now this is a relatively small map it's that's not a huge map but I do like this course back here this is kind of fun and it will put this truck through its paces a little bit Alright, so let's show the contest, and let's accept, and let's see what we can do. Am I stuck already? Let's all-wheel drive. Yeah, that's what you need to do, all-wheel drive. There we go, we got over that. That's pretty interesting. There's some interesting things the Maker put on this here. Metal pipes you gotta get over. Get over this. About this tall, tall incline here. Ooh. Take it easy. Take it easy. That hurt. That hurt. All right, now here we go. Here we go to the back part. This is where we're going to get into some mud. And there's actually two things you can do. You can either go into the mud or go into the swamp. I'm going to go into the mud to see how this thing handles the mud. And it's not having any issues going through the mud at all. And 
and now we gotta do some rock crawling here. I am gonna put this in a little high, just to slow it down a little bit. I think that'll be better. <laughs> this thing is just pure fun. That's what this thing is meant for. This is like a true off-road beast. You know, like that truck that you build that you don't care if it gets scratched up. You don't care if it gets dings. You just want to have fun with it. Oh, man. We'd be going faster if I took it out of low. Yeah, baby. All right. Two minutes, eight seconds. <laughs> we'll accept that. That's, that is all right, man. Okay, so we're going to go back to the regular test map, and we're going to show you this thing in the garage, and we're going to show you what it can do in some heavier mud. All right, we are on the summer proving grounds, and this is a scout, so it's under scout. $24,700. Again, it's one of those mods that it's a great mod and it's really cheap to buy. It's not it's not going to break your bank, that's for sure. And look at this. I mean, actually, I really like the way this looks right now. That orange, that kind of like metallic orange looks really good on this. But uh, let's get in and see what the customizations are. So for engines, we have the grocery getter spec, which is a 565 horse. The stock-ish spec, which is 405, and then the Trail Runner Supercharged 807, 807 horsepower. So we're going to go with that. Gearbox, uh, low and slow experimental crawler transmission, stock-ish spec, 6-speed, tow and haul 10-speed transmission, and Trail Runner spec 6-speed. So we're going to go with that one here because we're not going to be hauling anything for... Uh, for the purposes of this. Okay. Suspension. So this is where it gets a little tricky. Because they have the lift, tow, and haul. Indestructible, by the way. Okay, so that's exactly what that means. If you equip that, you won't have any, any suspension damage. So let's get that out of the way. So we have the Trail Runner Max Crawler spec. Trail Runner spec. The Trail Scout Lifted. Tow and haul, trail scout spec, and trail scout tow and haul. Um, so the tires don't fit this. So if you want the big tires, you have to put on the king of the hammer specs. That's that's the one we're going to choose so we can put on some really big tires. It took me a long time to figure that out. For I went through every one of those, and I, I kept seeing the big tires were locked. I'm like, what is going on? So basically the tires just repeat as well. You get in, in the same, pretty much the same tires in all sizes. These are off-road. And again, they're all excellent. They all, per I mean, I could sit here and test all these tires to see if there actually is a difference between the mud tires, the off-roads, and the chained. Just to kind of see if, uh, you know, because it, it all says they're good. So I really think... It just boils down to what you think looks better. And for me, I think... I think I'm going to go with these. I think these look the best. So we're going to try these. I mean, they're excellent on-road, off-road, and in mud. So I don't think it really matters. For winches, we have the basic B9 12-volt winch. And then the trail runner spec. And that's what it's equipped with. So we're going to leave that alone. Diff lock. Engageable, snorkel, it's already got it. Visuals, this is where it gets um, a little interesting here. You can have a gooseneck hitch, pretty interesting. Uh, shorty toe hinge, which that requires the modern bumper. And this one is for the vintage bumper, which we have on there. Body various, so right here we have, that's the modern bumper, which I actually really like that. So we're going to go with the modern. Um... Uh, removable doors, stock hood, license plate. We can put a license plate on there. I think that looks pretty cool. Stock removable tailgate and removable windshield. But we're going to leave that on there. Off-road protection. Desert Runner front bumper. 
Um, okay. So maybe you need the vintage bumper for that to work. Now we're going to take the full cage because I think it looks cool. Uh, yep, we're going to put the light bar on it. Trail runner pre... Tail runner pre... Runner bumper. Oh my god, these are just tongue twisters to say. Uh, yeah, this you need the, uh, the vintage bumper on this one for that. So we have the rock sliders. We're going to put those on. Uh, the overland rack. Sure, why not? We'll put that on. And the speed of... I mean, that's pretty cool. I like the way that looks too, but this time we're going to go with the roll cage. Uh, tire carrier... Leather tire neck. Can we put... It, okay, we can actually put a tire in here, so... We'll put that one in there. And there's an assortment of rims here. We'll just go through these real quick. So now these, these rooms are actually pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm not usually big on the rooms in this game just because the rooms aren't usually spectacular, but uh I do like these and I think I'm gonna go with those. Those just look really good. Paint. So I'm not gonna lie, I really like that orange. But you also have this, which is this is just so cool to me because this is just like it's old and as I was saying before like this is the kind of trick that you just don't care. You don't care if it gets dinged up or scratched up. You know, this is for a really good time. You know, and then we have more of these kind of like old looking paint jobs. That, ooh, that's nice too actually. Kind of like the dirty red and the clean red. And I mean all these colors, they just look so nice. So we're going to go back up and you know what guys, I think with as much as I like the orange, I'm going to take the blue. I'm going to take the blue. All right. All right. So as always, we're going to take it to the swamp. We engage the four wheel drive. <laughs> this, this is, this is not having any issues at all. This is going through the swamp like nothing. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely a fun scout vehicle. I'm already getting the vibes that it's super OP. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't even care. I, I really don't care. I kind of feel like if you're looking into the mods, then you want something that's OP. That's, that's kind of the point in getting a mod. Like, we have the base game vehicles that are challenging. I don't think we need mods that make the game more challenging. I feel like it's challenging enough. For the mods, I want something that is going to maybe help me out. And again, mods really just let you play the game how you want to play. Like, obviously, there's people out there that are real purists and then they want, you know, the most challenging playthrough of the game they can get. So they wouldn't like mods like this. But then there's... Others of us that, you know, they enjoy using these vehicles. And I'm definitely one of those that I enjoy using these vehicles. Honestly, on some of the maps that are, you know, really kind of a pain in the ass, I I do like a vehicle that's a little OP that uh, helps me get through the uh, the tougher missions. I'm, I'm not going to say, you know, I don't. And especially when you're making content, you know, you don't want to be sitting there for like an hour and a half trying to get one job done because the truck just won't go through it keeps getting stuck. Not having any issues. We're getting a little bit there. But we're still in just automatic. We have it low. Let's let's put it in low high and see what it does. Let's go through the uh, the big mud puddle here. Well, it's more like a pond, I would say. Yeah, we are totally underwater. Our guy is going to have to hold his breath. 
not having any issues. Kind of cleaned it off for us. And now for the real test. So let's tackle this mud here. Now let's drop it in the low. Yeah, this is this is going good. I don't if it hasn't stopped yet, then I don't feel like it's going to. <laughs> if it couldn't handle this mud, it would have definitely stopped by now and she's still plugging along. What if I put this in low minus? Okay, so this is actually one of the rare vehicles that it does seem like dropping it into the lowest gear does make it go a little better. I gotta say, I haven't really seen a lot of vehicles where, where that really low gear works. It just seems like it, it just takes more speed away from you, but this does seem like it gives it a little more power and less wheel spin to boot, so that's impressive. Yeah, it's going to get out of this. This is not going to have any, any problems at all. We're already almost at the end. Let him fret. Let's... <laughs> Still love that horn. Oh, man. Okay, so... I I actually love this thing. Not just for the fact that it, it's OP and it's fun to drive. I like the looks of it. I mean, this is literally a truck that I could see myself, like, having. I, I really like this a lot. Such a great vehicle. So that is the trail rod, guys. This is this is a good one. I like this a lot. This is a lot of fun to drive. Um, ah, man, I don't know. I would kind of like this in my playthrough, but uh, I just don't think that this would this would fit. But anyway, we have one more mod to look at, and this next one is a bit of an odd one. So. Uh, yeah, wait till you see this one. Back in the truck store and under heavy duty, we have the Shark. And again, this thing is cheap. It's like a little over 17 grand. But uh, this is a weird one. So let's purchase this and let's take a look at this. And here it is. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. But uh, it's definitely an interesting looking vehicle to say the least. So, under engines, we have the Shark Basic Engine, the Improved Engine, and the Advanced Engine. So it looks like the only difference between the Improved and the Advanced is the fuel consumption is is a little worse on the Advanced, but that's what we're going to put in there. We're going to trick it out to the max. Gearbox, we have the Balanced, High Range, Off-Road, and Special. So we'll put in the Special. Suspension. Active, stock, and raised. We will put on the raised. Tires. Uh, so there's a couple interesting things with the tires here. I, highway tires, I honestly don't understand why they even bother with highway tires. Because there's just not enough highway in this game to warrant them. We have all-terrain, and they have pretty much just standard tires. They don't have anything special. Uh, Off-road tires, they have the Shark. They're excellent and everything. It just says normal tires from normal rubber. I don't know if that's... I don't know what they mean by that, but... Uh, yeah, so those are the Shark. We have these here. And it looks like the Shark tires are the only ones that are really special because they're excellent in everything. So I honestly don't know what to do here. I, I guess we'll take I guess we'll take these because they're excellent for off road and mud. Oh, you know what? You know what? Wait a minute. This is the shark. These are shark tires. Let's just put on the shark tires and see and see what those do. Winch. They have the winch. Longer, longer power and more power. So we'll take the longer power. Frame add-ons. Now, this is where it gets a little weird. So, there's a roof rack. And we'll put that on there. We have a crane. 
and a gun. Now, I will say, guys, the gun is just super disappointing because the only thing you could do is just rotate it around. I mean, I think it would be cool if you could have fired something out of it. So I, having the gun on it just is really pointless. So we'll put the crane on it. Rims. That's it. There's there's no there's no choices. Colors. There's not a lot of choices for colors here. Except, wait a minute. Some of these camels are pretty, pretty cool actually. Uh, you know what? I kind of like that, so we're gonna go with that. All right. So that's it for customization. Let's leave the garage and see what this thing can do. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is a strange looking vehicle. I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's fire it up. Now let's go inside this thing because this is just, well, take a look. Look at this thing. I mean, what is this? I have no idea. Like, someone drop in the comments, is this from a different video game or something? Like, am I missing, is this from like a sci-fi movie or something? Because this is just such a bizarre vehicle. Horn. That sounds so familiar to me, and I have no idea what that is, but that just sounds familiar. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll leave that. Back this thing out. And let's see here. We, yeah, we have a vehicle over here, so we'll check this out really quick. Stop that, put the emergency brake on, and... I love the anchors. Those anchors are so cool. Let's go crane mode. Um. Oh, when you put it in crane mode, there's no controls. They don't show you the controls for it. Interesting. So that's as far as that goes. Can, can I reach that from here? Yeah, I can. And so we can pull it. Um. Yeah, we can lift it up. Okay. Yeah, okay, so all the... All the crane controls are there. So, I mean, that's that's probably useful, I would say. Release the winch. Let's restore the crane. Okay, and let's... Let's get this out in the field and see what this thing can do. And I mean, I could see that crane being useful. Um, this is a very strange looking recovery vehicle for sure, but, you know, I guess that's what it could be used for. As always, we go through the swamp first. And it's not having any problems with the swamp, really. Steering is a little... Oh, you know what? We're not even in four-wheel drive. Okay. Let me see if that helps. And it helps a little bit. I mean, it really didn't even need to be in four-wheel drive, to be honest. It was, uh, it was handling it. Now, with as wide as this is, and as low to the ground as it is, uh, well, low to the ground, relatively speaking, it, it makes it really stable. I would think it'd be hard to flip this thing. Now, I will say, I thought this was an amphibious vehicle. Um, it is not. <laughs> I, uh, I found that out the hard way. But yeah, for some reason I thought this was an amphibious vehicle, but it's, it's definitely not. And so far, again, I would have to say... Well... 
This might be on the side of an OP vehicle. But I mean, look at it. Would you expect anything less from something that looks like this? I mean, come on. This thing is crazy looking. Go, I mean, can you... Oh! Okay, so... Oddly, it's not that bad driving on the inside of it. I thought that it would be, you know, really difficult to see. I mean, it's not... It's not as easy as, say, looking out the windshield of a, of a regular vehicle, but it's not bad. It's not bad. So, I really want to just take this thing right to the mud. I really do want to take it right to the deep mud and see what it can do. Uh, so far, I would have to say that these tires are pretty good. Well, we'll do the, uh, we'll do the typical since we're right here anyway. Not having any issues there. We'll bring it to the pond here. It's slowing down. So as you can see, it's not it's not floating. It's uh it's, it's not amphibious, that's for sure. Okay, so here's the real, here's the real test. Let's put it in low high. I always start low high and see how it handles it. It's going through it. Oh God, too close to the tree. It's gonna do crazy things. Let's see if we put it in low if it does anything better. Yeah, it definitely seems to be giving us a little bit more <laughs> it's not having any issues getting through the deep mud. And two modded vehicles in a row that went through that deep mud with no problems at all. So this is the shark. Um, I don't know what to make of it, guys. Like I say, I don't know what it is. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, now before we go, I do want to show you guys one other thing. So let me just get that ready. All right. So it's night time, and I would say that this is the one thing that kind of disappointed me a little bit. The lights. I mean, I thought this thing would have some, like, cool lighting on it. Like, I don't know, maybe some cool LED lights or something like that. And it's just, you know, just your standard headlight and, and tail light. Nothing too interesting. But what I will say is, I showed you guys what it looked like in, in the inside of this during the day. Check out what it looks like in the cockpit at night. Look at how lit up it is. I mean... That is cool. That is just, I think, really cool. So, guys, that is the shark. Um, that's where we're going to end this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. All right. One of the cool things I think about this is I'm pretty sure this thing's amphibious. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take it in the lake here. And uh, it should just float across. Uh... Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> um. Oh, man. I thought it was amphibious. Oh. Oh, it's not. It's not amphibious at all. And that is a dead shark. This shark cannot swim. <laughs> it cannot swim at all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did... Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Don't forget to join my Discord. We have the link to that in the description. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.